So Lord Rick of the Paranormal Ghost Society, we are, it's about New Year's Eve, about 7.45, December 31st of 2013. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. The object that I've been filming this month is back. It's incredible. I know a lot of people would like to say it's a star, planet, comet, falling satellite. This time it's in a different position in the sky than a, a few days ago when I filmed it. And I'm only gonna, I'm not gonna do no 20 minute, 45 minute footage. I am just going to put out a small clip and I'm gonna leave this UFO alone. It is much, it is actually, believe it or not, it is much closer to my house than it was on the 28th. And it's in a different position than it was. It was hovering a little bit more to the right. I'm gonna see if I can get some zoomed in shots at least so we can at least document that. Like I said, if anybody wants to debunk this, you're more than welcome to. I do want to say this. A lot of local people are seeing UFOs. A lot of locals in, in towns like Fernley, Reno, uh, Gardnerville, Minden, Carson City, Fallon are all reporting UFO sites tonight. It's given off a lot of red. And right there, it gave off two colors at the same time. It's very odd because it's, it's not just pulsating, it's color patterns change from my other two videos. Not the same color pattern. There's a lot of red and orange in it tonight. But since it's New Year's Eve and I'm spending time with my family, that holds precedence over UFOs. I, I mean, this object comes back and visits pretty often. Now, the government website of national UFO reporting, there are a lot of sightings. There are a lot of sightings in the area. People are calling police, people are calling the fire department, people are calling the government, people are calling, you know, all kinds of news sources and the government says it's Comet Eisen or it's Venus or it's it's falling a falling satellite. It's not a falling satellite. It's not Comet Eisen. It's directly south of here. It's not quite over the Sierra Mountain Range. It's over a high desert area tonight. The first time I filmed it, it was really close to my house and it was, it landed on the hill. We found the landing site. And then I waited two weeks for it to come back and it was very far off in the wilderness. And I keep documenting these sightings because I feel I could tell you a story. It's not going to do any good. You, and, you know, a lot of people are like, buy this tripod, buy this, buy that. I can't afford these things. We're an underfunded paranormal group. And for years, I've invested thousands of dollars of my own money. I mean, my vehicle broke down today. I have no money, you know, but... At least I'm out here trying to make a difference in the paranormal community. I'm out here and I'm filming these things and I'm documenting what I see and it's close to home and and it's very important that, see, I'm able to zoom much closer on the object. Remember a couple nights ago, I couldn't get this close zoomed on it. And I don't care if the U.S. government is going to dismiss the sightings or the news to cover it up because they don't want people panicking because a lot of people feel like we're being invaded locally by UFOs or that an invasion is going to happen. Uh, I feel if these are alien visitors, they are peaceful and they're not afraid to show off their craft around the evening time. It's very cold. Not a lot of people are going to see them. So, you know, what? I, they may be scanning a map in the area. They may be... They may be landing and doing experiments. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. 
when it comes to aliens and, and visitations from other worlds. But I do know this. I believe that we come from the stars. And, you know, if you ever study any of the ancient alien material and the archaeology, there are plenty of signs to show that possibility. Now, tonight, there's a lot of red and orange in the object. Could it be the same UFO? Maybe, or maybe this is a different UFO, but it's given off an entirely different pulsation pattern with a lot of red tonight and orange. You know, I'm not out to get famous. I'm not out to create hoaxes to draw on YouTube visitors. I only want to be able to share what I see, what I view, what I experience with the public. I'm a good UFOologist. I'm a good rounded paranormal investigator, you know. I mean, we don't just cover ghosts. We cover everything. And over the years, I have shared every type of evidence you could think of. Ghosts, UFOs, Bigfoot, etc. And it's not going to stop because this is what we do. December 31st, 2013. 7.45 p.m. I want to wish everybody a happy new year from the Paranormal Ghost Society. Check us out, www.paranormalghostsociety.org. This is Lord Rick. I'm having trouble focusing and my hands are shaking again. Not because I'm scared, but it is deathly cold out here and I spent two days working under a truck and my arms and hands have just about had it. Let's see if I can get zoomed in really close. There you go. I looked the last few nights at the skies and this object was not there. And I made a joke with my son. We were eating chicken and rice, Chinese food. And I said, son, we'll play video games if the UFO is outside. And he, he says to me, it is a, he says, oh, dad, the object's returned. They're back. He says, so you owe me some Diablo 3 time. So I guess I better get in there and play some Diablo 3. But I thought first before I decided to play video games, I would at least entertain you with this New Year's Eve special sighting of this UFO. It does not appear every night. That's, that's what people don't understand. It, you know, it's very erratic. Some nights it's been in this wilderness area, and other nights it's just not there. I guess they come and go as they please. And this appears to be hovering over the night sky. It's much closer to my house than the December 28th footage, but it's still off at a, you know, a couple miles. Anyways, check us out, the Paranormal Ghost Society. This is your founder, Lord Rick, and I hope that, you know, most of you who've made contact with me in recent times, I hope we can develop strong friendships and paranormal unity and work together on projects. I'll tell you one thing, if you want to bring the beer, I'll cook the burgers on the grill, and we'll enjoy this these UFOs out in rural northern Nevada together. Why not, right? Yeah, I just can't zoom in on it for some reason, like I could earlier. Try it one more time. Here we go. Not a lot of red and orange in it anymore. Yeah, I suppose a little. It's amazing because sometimes the object is like three different colors in one. Wow. Every time I see this UFO it just amazes me. If you look at it real carefully and study it, zoomed in, it appears that there's like texture within the object. 
and it also appears like there's a light spinning on the bottom or that rotates throughout it like on the bottom as it blends into another color and now it's starting to fade and dim out there we go very amazing very very intrigued they're back